All right, everyone. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, we are doing construction still here. Um, and finally seeing some progress, which is exciting. So um, the builders were back today for the first time this week. They've been waiting on supplies. Um, we do have our metal in, which is exciting. We got our first uh, window put in. Of course, we'll have another window up front. They'll be framing in a smaller door there. And then we'll have a door here. Um, this uh, front part, the existing uh, building is all gonna be redone. That's gonna be like a mud room, laundry room, supply room. So it will have, of course, the well tank, water heater, washer, dryer, bathtub, all that kind of stuff in the front there, like a grooming room. Um, and then this area is going to be um, for the mamas. So this is our nursery. So they will have, um, these are deeper than our current kennels. They're like seven foot in um, because I wanted the mamas to have plenty of room and the puppies um, where the ones in the old kennel are just five. So that gives mommy a little extra room to come in here and lay and sprawl out when she doesn't want puppies right on top of her. Um, and then they will be framing out um, the doggy doors going in and out here. So they will have the same setup as the uh, big kennel down there where they will have a concrete porch and then that will go off um, into a play area. So we have moved our chicken house and all of that um, down further and we'll be fencing off play areas up here for each individual um, mom and puppies. And then, of course, this will be poured concrete. And then um, in this extra space right here, just kind of in the walkway, I'm going to put um, some kind of either couch or a futon or something and um, uh, maybe a toy box for the kids and a TV um, just so that we can um, be a little more comfortable when they're down here with me long hours. Um, so that we can spend more time with the mamas and babies and so that's super exciting so um, this is um, metal sheeting um, that waterproofs all of the framing that they're putting up so that even when I do spray out the kennels um, the floors don't get wet but we didn't have to do concrete block this time so um, and yeah of course we've got our drains that go out and I am so, so, so super excited for this project. It's going to give mamas and babies more room, more privacy, more comfort. Um, and then also and, and just... no boys are going to be allowed in this area. Oh, they're not? No boys allowed? No boy doggies. Oh, no boy doggies. I thought you meant no boys at all. I was like, what about your brothers? What about your knuckle-headed brothers? Can they come in? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Just um, no boy doggies where they would see their wives private. Oh, so the no boy doggies so that they would see their wives um, private time. Okay, good deal. They need okay. privacy. Okay, they do need privacy. Yes, the girls need privacy when they're having babies. That's exactly right. That's why we're having we're having trouble in, in there with the boys, not without with all the um, other dogs seeing the mommies. Yeah, because the mommies like to have their own space and they, they, be peaceful they, and need yeah, their privacy. They need privacy. That's right. They want their privacy. Yes, there will be solid walls in between the mamas so they have their privacy. And then just a kennel panel on the front. So Anyway, but that's that. Um, it's just super exciting for us. And uh, I can't wait to continue to show you guys updates as we go. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward dog. to it. You're a dog? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> we do have lots of great helpers. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. We are fixing to... Um, get some supper. I'm a All right, good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have puppies right now. We have 17 puppies. Um, we will start letting people choose their puppies maybe here in the, probably a week or so um, when they're three weeks old. Um, I am waiting on some DNA to come back on Lassie's litter. I might possibly keep one or two. I don't know, just kind of depending on what the DNA says. Um, this may wind up being Lassie's last litter. Um, I'm just not sure yet. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, we'll be letting people pick puppies soon. If you are interested in getting on the waiting list um, for first pick um, after those that are already in line, just let me know. You have to fill out an application, and it requires a deposit. Otherwise, you can um, just keep a close eye on our page and see what's available. So, um, yeah, we're super excited. Um, all these, of course, all of our collies are DNA tested. The sires um, 
our studs both have hip screenings done. Lassie has a hip screening done. Um, they're all CEA unaffected, so that's great. Could be non-carriers, um, but definitely unaffected, which is what we strive for. So. All right. We will talk to you guys later. I hope you're having a great day. Woof, woof, bye-bye. Woof, woof, bye-bye.